welcome to Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Good morning! We are here at the stage in downtown Cedarburg. So Denton's band Green River Ordinance and Denton is the drummer. They're playing tonight here and this is a festival they do every summer and it's called Summer Sounds at Cedar Creek Park. And that's actually why we're in town today. And then Denton and I are staying an extra night so we can explore. So right now it's very quiet but people are already setting up their chairs uh, early this morning. So I think it's gonna be a packed house. So it's gonna be a really good show tonight. But we're gonna go walk around a little bit and explore more of Cedarburg this morning, check out some more shops. There's a winery, a brewery, a distillery. So we are not without things to do today. So come on and I'll show you downtown Cedarburg. Cedarburg began as a mill town along the river built by German immigrants in the 1840s. Cedarburg is known for its quaintness, beautiful cream brick architecture, and growing art community. So Den and I just popped into the visitor center here, which is also a museum, and the curator is full of information about Cedarburg, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, and it is absolutely incredible in there. If you love antiques and things like that, old branding, especially as a marketer like me, I just love old advertisements on packaging. There's so, so much in there. Lots of history about the area. This museum and visitor center was actually the first general store in Cedarburg, and so you can learn all about that as well. But if you're here, I would make this your first stop so you can learn all about Cedarburg, and then you can walk around and uh, see the town and kind of know what you're looking at. So we're gonna keep on going. you'll notice how well history is preserved here and especially in these mills so this one next to me is a brewery and then the other mill is a winery there's a restaurant in there and that was a wool mill so back in the 60s Cedarburg was going through the start of urban renewal which was the process of tearing down these kind of old rundown buildings and putting in newer structures but the mayor in the 60s put a stop to that and preserved all of these buildings. So that's why Cedarburg is so special because it's really one of these places in the U.S. that's very rare to have something that's really untouched by urban renewal. Just another little architectural tip as you're walking around, so make sure you notice. We just popped into the stilt house here for lunch. We split a burger, we got uh, a local beer, and it absolutely lived up to the expectation. We had had many recommendations to stop into this place. And it was perfect, and I would highly, highly recommend getting a burger at the stilt house. Next, we checked into our hotel, the historic Washington House Inn, in the heart of downtown Cedarburg. All right, so we just checked in. We got our key, and 
let's check out our room. Most of these rooms have a jacuzzi tub, so oh, a very nice big soaking tub. Lovely, a beautiful little bathroom. I love these little details in here. After a quick break, we headed to the park for Denton's show with his band, Green River Ordnance. Good morning. We had a lovely restful night, um, except for the fact that I was scared of ghosts all night, so I was up till maybe two. But it's not haunted, so I didn't sleep for you, so you can rest easy. Um, but we're gonna go downstairs and have some breakfast and check out the spread, see what they have to offer. So let's go. Breakfast is complimentary and offers a delicious spread of homemade pastries and fresh fruit cups in a relaxing, quaint setting. After breakfast, we set out for another day on the town to explore downtown Cedarburg. Here's a little recap of our day. Feeling in my bones. I could feel it in my veins Hands in the sky I can feel the winds of change You live and you learn And I hope I've seen enough To make something right And make up for what I Remember, we take Slate Putty and put it on newspaper, and it would keep the print of the newspaper on it? Did you ever do that? Mm hmm. That was really fun. Caught by surprise by you. Want you to make my heart feel as much as I know. Our room came with two vouchers for a wine and cheese plate at the Union House, just a block away from our hotel. It was the perfect pit stop during our afternoon adventures. I want to get high on. I'm trying to look for Walden. <laughs> want you to make my heart feel as much as I know. Good evening. So uh, Denton and I are back at our hotel and we are going to take a bath in this amazing jacuzzi hot tub that we have in our hotel room. So I am so excited. Let me show you how just awesome this is. Look at this beautiful jacuzzi hot tub. 
It's going to be lovely. We're going to have some wine this evening and just relax in our hot tub. Denton's getting a little work done. I'm actually just trying to find a movie to watch while we're in the hot tub. Ooh, that's going to be nice. <laughs> and um, yeah, and this is just a little view of our room this evening. It has a lovely little glow to it in here. We have these nice high ceilings. Aren't they just lovely? So yeah, so we're gonna we're gonna hang out and we had a really nice day just kind of going around and seeing the city and um, just enjoying all that Cedarburg has to offer. And so far it's been really, really nice. But right now, we're gonna get in that hot tub and have some wine. And we'll see you tomorrow for more exploring. Good morning. This is our last day here in Cedarburg. And now we're gonna drop our bags off at the front and walk around for a couple of hours before we have to take our flight. But it's been so nice here, so I'm really happy to just get one more afternoon in and we're gonna stop by the candy shop first because Denton's had his eye on a couple of the candy apples. Apparently they're, they're famous and they look beautiful in the window when you walk by and it just smells amazing. So we're gonna pop in there and then just kind of walk around town, maybe get an iced coffee and some lunch before we have to go. But it's just been so great here. We just love Cedarburg so much and we can't wait to come back. There's a walking path along the river to the old train bridge that boasts vibrant wildflowers and beautiful views. ice cream. We actually got a vegan one because it was my favorite. It was It's a lavender honey ice cream with these really good little waffle cones and they make their own sausages in there. You can take them to go or get a nice hot one but this ice cream is phenomenal so if you come into town make sure you stop in the Creamy Pig and try some of their flavors and get yourself an ice cream because you won't regret it. Well folks, that was our trip to Cedarburg, Wisconsin. Thank you so much for watching and please don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any of our other adventures. We're so thankful for all these amazing memories and for the kind people we met on our stay. I'll have a breakdown of where we stayed and went on our website, lostandremote.com. I hope you enjoyed coming along this trip with us and we'll catch you next time.